All right, I got my feeler gauge, and I looked it up in the manual, and the read should be .007. And uh, it says, replace reads if they are preload, loaded, adhere, adhere tightly to read block, or if gap exceeds .0017. So, here's the way you can tell if you can't if you can't get it underneath that with this then you're good so that one's good let me just show this so if you cannot take this and put it underneath there then you're good like that one is loose Okay. This one is loose. This one is good. This one is good. Now on this side, this one's good. That one's good. This one's good. That one's good. So again, it's this one. Man, that looks good though. If it exceeds well if we have to take that one off that's fine see that one's good that one's good that one's good That one's good. That one's good. This one's loose. Can't see. This one's good. Start on the outside. Yeah, I did all these. These are all good. So on the inside, crankshaft in. That one's loose. That one's not. That one's loose. That one's not. You probably take something and mark them. Um, yeah, we'll mark them. <clears throat> so to get these off, it's pretty simple, really. We even have it over here. Yep. We're going to be on tight. Make sure you get a big screwdriver when it fits right. There's a screw and a nut that holds this. Put it back together, put some Loctite on it. just break 
break apart right here really you just break apart like that not yeah it's a little loose good 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 this one's good all right so what we need to check is what I just do with it Is this? I think I need my other ruler, but we'll try this. I think I actually need this one. Yeah. This one shows me 530 seconds. So. This and you need to do it from here to here should be and to measure this from here to here, okay, and it should be five thirty seconds. And, it, and you don't want it to rest on the reed valve either. So we got one, two. You find five thirty seconds on here. All right, there's a quarter, eighth. All right, so to back up a little bit, took her feeler gauge, went on this and we discovered that this is kind of out of spec. This side is fine. So it's this side that we're, I'm worried about. So to measure this, this is kind of the stop. It keeps them from coming out wider than it should. If we take our feeler gauge, I mean our uh, measure if I can show it the one just past the 64 is 530 seconds so if I can show it see how I, I can do this whenever I measure this one it shows the location of where you should do it which is like right at the edge of the of the uh, and if I look at this it's it's dead on and I know you can't see it this is going to be really hard to see you know I guess it has to be this way but you're going to take this feeler gauge and then you're going to look at that guy and make sure that it's at 530 seconds you want to do it on this side too so I'll turn it over and look at it 
So I can see that this side is out like at least a 30 second. And uh, you just bend this guy until it's at the right. <clears throat> But that still doesn't solve our problem with these. So, the best way I think to do this is to take this one off. You can flip it around. And it'll it'll be right. So, I'm just going to take my little socket set and I'll take that off. 5 sixteenths. wrench and five sixteenths and it'll come off. There's your read stop and then this is the valve. So you can take these, watch this little trick, and then just flip them around. flip them around and then put your read stop back on and this can be a little tricky I didn't put any Loctite on that. It's a lock washer. It's never going to come off there. Okay, this one's not. So bummer, but I've got another read. You can't bend these back. Once they lose their shape, it's like they got memory. <clears throat> 